Yo, family, what's going on, y'all? I'm back again with another one for y'all, man. Another exciting matchup. And uh, this time, guys, I had to prep the panel and everything. Hit it with some totally awesome and hit it with some green rubbing alcohol or whatever. Made sure all, all the excess products off the panel. So now here we go. Well, I'm trying to let's part these two up against each other just to see which one of these are able to give you the more shine and gloss, which one of them is more hydrophobic than the other. Now, as you know by now, the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solution Ceramic Thread in One Detailer going to run you about $17, as I stated in my last video on Amazon. And pretty much the Eagle One Wipe and Shine Detailer, you can get that right at your local Advanced Auto Parts. It's going to run you like $6. All right, so you're talking about $10 price difference between these two. All right, but one of these has the ceramic technology, which is the turtle wax, and the other one just a regular showroom spray detailer. All right, this one here has the SIO2 ceramic wax protection. And Eagle One has just regular, you know, regular protection. All right, so no further ado, we're going to get into it. Uh, just kind of sighting cheap versus more high-end product like Turtle Wax, Hybrid Lines, a little more high, higher end. So let's start off with the Eagle One Wipe and Shine. Here we go. We're just going to do two squirts to the panel. Well, a couple squirts, rather, to the panel. Swipe that in. The Eagle One got a really good smell to it as well. Let's flip it right. Very slick. That Eagle One is very slick as well, guys. Um, it's hard to beat that stuff. That stuff is very slick. And considering the price, man, the Eagle One is only like six bucks. Let's hit it again. I would buy this again in a heartbeat, too. That Eagle One is very affordable, cheap, and it works like a charm. It's very, very slick on the panel. All right, but it doesn't have a ceramic technology. Let's get us a wipe in like the Turtle Wax does. But to me, it really doesn't matter that much about the ceramic technology. Not to me, it don't, you know. As long as it's slick, hydrophobic, and, you know, it's so easy to work with like this is. Boy, this stuff is slick. Alright. It's been proven to be pretty durable as well. You know, um, when you go one product like this is this cheap and works this well. I would say it's a winner. Okay, that's it. It's two coats of the Eagle One. Let's move over here to the Turner Wax Hybrid Solutions. All right, here we go. Couple spritz to the panel. All right. Like, let that penetrate in there a little bit as well. Okay, let's give it a wipe. This stuff got a really good, kind of like a fruity mango type smell to it. That's what I like about the Turtle Wax product. It's very slick as well. You can tell it got some kind of ceramic protection, ceramic wax or something up in it because it's very, very slick. Okay, definitely slick on the panel. And that's a big 32 ounce baller that you get, which is not really a bad deal for 17 bucks considering a lot of them doesn't really give you that much product you know if you want to try 32 ounce ball is a really good deal all right let's hit that again turtle wax hyper solution ceramic detail spray all right big boy there yeah. okay all right swipe that in this stuff smells amazing, guys. Y'all should smell that 3 in the one Turtle Wax Spray Detailer. Man, that's really an amazing smelling product. I swear it smells good. Alright. 
That's why I mentioned in my last video, I said I would use this on the interior. <laughs> yeah, I will. Door panels, kick panels, dash. That stuff smells good, guys. I'm telling you, it smells amazing. All right. It's a lot of uses for it in my world. Okay, it's very slick on the panel. Okay, so now what we're going to do, pull back, compare the shine between the two products. And like I always say, without a gloss meter, it could be kind of hard to tell which one I'm giving a better shine, you know. Alright, but let's get into what's most important. Both sides look very shiny. Let's shoot a little water, man. Let's test it. That's where it's most important, how it's going to protect your vehicle. Alright, let's start with the Eagle One side. Here we go. Okay, nice and hydrophobic as well. Doesn't take a lot of water to see how it's going to beat up. It's hydrophobic nicely. Okay. Okay, let's get over here to the Turner Wax Hybrid Solutions. Let's see what it's like. Oh, man. Here we go. So I'm looking for the hydrophobic of these two products. And I would say... That they both are similar. Um... They both are similar for us beating. I would say one of them beats as good as the other. As you can see between these two. Okay, here's the Eagle One side. Okay. Turn the wax. Well, from this test, uh, I would say one bead water is just as good as the other. Now, I don't know which one is more durable than the other. We'll come back and test that later. But for us beading technology, both of them bead similar. You know, um, one is just as good as the other in this test, you know. Uh, you know, I can't, <laughs> I can't really call a winner too much because the price difference I could... But it's 32 ounce versus a 23 ounce, you know. So they give you more product here. So they kind of balance out, you know, the price. And, you know, it's easier to get turtle wax. Eagle one a little bit hard to find at times, you know. So I'm going to call this one a draw. I would say get both in your arsenal. In my opinion, one is just as good as the other. One is just as slick as the other. And one shines just as good as the other by the eye contact anyway. So we're just having fun. I'm not going to call a winner. You guys be the judge. Hope you had fun. Y'all take care. Share my videos with your family and friends. And I'm going to hit you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.